Now, this man has been working on television for many, many years. He has learned a lot and he has contributed a lot. It's that type of person that you never forget. He has been always there for me. He teach me a lot of things. He helped me. If we want to talk about Spanish TV here in Miami, definitely we'll have to talk about him. If the life of a man is said to be measured by the lives he has touched or by the company he keeps, Omar Marchand has proven to be a formidable standard to live by. For these are but a few of the many people who have had the privilege of calling him a friend, a colleague, a mentor, and the reason we honor him tonight, a pioneer. Omar Marchand's career spans over three decades and involves nearly every facet of the entertainment industry. His love for broadcasting began in Cuba, where at the age of 21, Omar became the youngest general manager of a radio network ever. His success on radio only fueled his transition into a then new and undeveloped medium, television. His work in Cuba's pioneer television network, CMQ, was abruptly interrupted by the political uncertainties of an unstable era. By the end of 1963, however, after only a few short months in Miami, Omar was back on the airwaves as announcer and DJ of the most popular radio station of the time, WFAB, La Fabulosa. Soon after, Omar returned to the medium that would present some of the biggest, yet most rewarding challenges of this broadcaster's life, Spanish language television. Well, what he has done, above all, in my opinion, has brought quality to it. Before Omar uh, came into a, uh, Spanish television in America, you would see uh, things like uh, microphones dangling, <laughs> uh, uh, the color, the, the set design, and, uh, and, and basically bringing in fresh, fresh ideas and, and new people. I remember Omar, in my beginning, helping me, taking care of everything, putting the cameras together, and, and showing me and, and helping me in the beginning very much. In 1972, Omar expanded into another facet of his broadcasting career. For the first time in America, he stepped from behind the cameras and into the spotlight as host of what was to become the highest rated Spanish language television show of that time, Solo Para Bailadores. Through this and many programs like it, Omar recognized the early talents of some of today's biggest stars. Well, Omar Marchand means a lot, I'm going to tell you why, for many reasons. When I, we, me and Gloria, we started, he definitely was there for us. We did a lot of shows together. Uh, professional, I think he was the, one of the guys who invented TV here in Miami. Omar, thanks to you, I can't go to Mazatlan and lay on the beach anymore because they know me, because I'm on Spanish TV, because of you. Mm. Omar Marchand's success was not, however, limited to the radio and television industries. In 1972, Omar embarked on what was to be a long and successful relationship with the music industry. He entered the world of independent productions and founded his own company, Jingles Corporation of America, producing worldwide television shows and specials for talents like Ray Conniff, Santana, and Julio Iglesias. I remember spending with him times and times and times talking about show business and in, with music going in, in the studios with me and when I was recording and talking about the songs. A lot of things, it's a lot of personal things, you know, a lot of friendships, a lot, uh, very much close. With great accomplishments in the music industry, Omar was ready to concentrate his efforts on his first love, television broadcasting. And in the early 80s, he was asked to occupy an executive position with Channel 23 in the promotions and special events departments. Shortly after, he was promoted to Vice President of Univision Television Network, and a new era in Spanish language television was born. Una canción himno que ha escrito nuestro querido Omar Marcha. Un 
Banco Mar nos ayudó mucho en un principio y tú nos diste la, las primeras frases publicitarias que hasta hoy día se utilizan mucho como el cómo dice que dijo For the shows he's created for Telemundo, Univision and the Spanish market in general For the music that currently runs on both Spanish language networks his original compositions For the efforts made to advance the quality of broadcasting for both an industry and the Hispanic community We thank you He's a great guy, he's very professional, and I'm very glad to be considered me his friend. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for everything you did, not only for me, for all of us, for all the artists. I literally owe my job or what little recognition I have on Spanish TV to you, Omar. And uh, I wore a hat today for one reason, so that I can take it off to you.